study each of the mantras thoroughly, understand what each of the seed sounds are that animate the mantra. That will help you to understand the archetype of the mantra. So certain seed sounds would be ra, na, ma, ah, these types of things. Pay attention to what seed sounds are present in the mantra. You'll understand its underlying archetypal energy and then do your best to translate the mantra from Sanskrit to English. And you're going to get a deeper understanding of it. And you'll also understand how you can use the mantra in other areas. Because mantras, of course, can be chanted, but mantras can also be used as a type of magical wording or magical phrase that can be brought into practical applications of what you would call magic, programming energy for specific manifestational purposes. So the mantras can also amplify and boost these things. Each mantra will connect to a certain type of deity. Each mantra will connect to a certain part of the body, a certain planet, a certain constellation. Because all gods that connected to each of the mantras will have those correspondences. As a result, you can access a variety of different powers from each mantra. It's understanding really what they mean, who and what they're meant to represent, and then understanding those correspondences. And then really, it's a playground. You can utilize it in a variety of different ways.